Hi guys, it's Emily Cool Cookie, and I'm gonna do a review on Mira shards for Ever After High Dragon Games. So here she is inside the box, and she is a special edition doll, just like Courtly. And then it says watch it on Netflix, and then it says Dragon Games Ever After High daughter. I mean, not daughter. <laughs> I'm sorry, teenage evil queen. And then you see like broken shards here and then dragon scales everywhere. And then the new design Forever After High. And then her book that is a broken mirror and tells about her story. And then dragon in the back dragons in the background in the school. And on the opposite side it tells about her herself and then here's her box art design. And then here's Raven <coughs> Darling and Pop. Holly O'Hare, and then what they're connected to, Ever After High, supported by, and then her bio is all in here, and it's also on the website, so I'll be right back and unbox this evil queen. Okay, so here's Mira Shard out of the box, and I will start from top from bottom. So she has her hair in a ponytail, and it's a ray of this, like, reddish pink hair with some purple in the back and it has a bump to it and then her headband or headpiece is completely like it's kind of metal designed and it has uh dragons on it if it could hold on let me try to focus it yeah some dragons on there with some wings and kind of like a diamond like face and then her face she's super pale she's a lot more paler than raven for some weird reason but she's actually supposed to be a lot more brighter like more tan but i don't know why they made her like so pale when she doesn't actually look like that pale i think only when she's older she looks pale but in the movie she looked more tannish so her makeup she has very like a lot of makeup so it's kind of like a bluish like around it and then purple and her eyes are purple and then by her eyebrows I mean by her her eyelashes look super thick like they made this uh thick like more thicker on her eyelids for that's a that's a first I never did that before you can tell and then she has brown eyebrows and then purple lipstick lip gloss lipstick and her earrings are black. They kind of look like, I guess, maybe like chandeliers or just weird design. They're just black. And then her neck brace and shoulder padding is like metal. It's detailed to be metal. And it has chains and kind of looks like maybe like feathers. Just like how Raven has hers with feathers. And uh, kind of like an evil look. And then her shirt, or actually part of her dress, is just black with sleeves. Kind of has like that uh, shimmery design to it. And then she has this black belt to the side with all these gems and jagged pieces. I guess supposed to be like broken mirror. And then on the other side is this like material, fishnet material with like leaf designs, I assume. And then... The skirt part or dress part of her is just white and then on the bottom broken glass it's just black with like silver but it, it looks like broken glass and then for her bracelets they're like um arm bracelets and it's supposed to be like a neck well like, like a ring that goes around her and then the same on this side and then for her shoes her shoes are completely black, and they look just like a dragon. It's like, they go around like a tail, and then the tail on the heel looks like a tail. So that is Mira Shards, and she just came off the stand for some weird reason. Okay, I'll just, there we go. She comes with a, a stand, that's not backwards, a brush and her book that tells about her doing dragon games with apple white i mean not snow white apple's mother of course and 
tells about the whole story and how much she dislikes her and says oh she's so mean but she's not she's the mean one of course but yeah that's the evil queen i mean mirror shards i mean everybody already knows <laughs> her secret's out yeah she let herself like everybody know her secret anyway so yeah that is the evil queen and i hope you like this review like comment subscribe and have a nice day